Passing the Guards. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Passing the Guards, usually in palaces where the kings live, we need to pass by guards. They may try to hold us back. We cannot pass easily. And in the Bible it says, Proverbs 30, verse 28, Lizards, you can hold one in your hand, but you can find them in palaces. Or same for spiders. They are weak, and yet they can find their place, their way into the palace. The guards cannot stop them. They are clever enough. Despite they are weak, they can come into the palace and live there, where the kings and the queens live. For us, there are guards to come to the Lord. There are guards such as the world, the so-called friends, they say, stop, you should not become a Christian, you should not follow God, you should not trust in the Lord, because they want to exercise group pressure and hold you back. They recommend rather we should enjoy the life, but if we are honest, we can enjoy the life even more when we follow God. Or other people, they are also guards, they keep us away from God. They say everybody must do what they want and not what God wants. Or the devil himself, he's also a guard, he also keeps us away from God. He just wants to have us a little bit of religion to keep our conscience silent, but he does not really want us to come to God. He does not want to, us to recognize Jesus as our king or our own conscience is another guard that keeps us away from God. Our own conscience that says, you are too evil, you are too bad, you have done too many things wrong, you cannot come to God. There are many such kind of guards, other people, the devil, our own conscience, and many other things that try to keep us away. Let's overcome these guards. Let's be clever, even though we might be weak. Let's be clever as the lizards or the spiders. They live in the palace where the king and the queen stays. Lord, we thank you that we can come to you, that we can overcome all those guards, that we do not need to be impressed by them. You are stronger and you invite us. You want us to come to you. Thank you for your grace, for your forgiveness, for your open arms. Thank you that you welcome us. We pray that you may change us and that you may make us fit for your kingdom, where we praise you forever. Amen.